This is Nick Pino from TechRadar.com, and this is a quick and easy guide to help you set up your brand new Xbox One. If you've never set up a gaming console before, or if you want to know what the Xbox One setup process is like, this guide is for you. We'll start with the basics of hooking up your system, then we'll get you online and connected with an Xbox Live account. Begin by connecting the HDMI cable to an available HDMI port on your TV or home theater receiver. Connect the other end to your Xbox One's HDMI output on the rear of the console. You can also watch TV through your Xbox. If you have a cable or satellite box, connect it via HDMI to the HDMI in port on the Xbox One. Next, connect the power cable to the power supply. Insert the end from the power supply into the console's power port. Plug the other end into a wall outlet. Open the battery compartment on the controller and insert the two AA batteries as indicated. Now we're going to turn on the system and set up your internet connection and personalize your Xbox One. The Xbox logo on the front of the system is the power button. Press it to start your Xbox One. You'll now be prompted to press and hold the Xbox button on your controller until the light glows. When your controller is detected, press the A button to continue. If your controller isn't recognized by the system, simply pair it by pressing the small pair button on the top of the controller and the matching button on the front left corner of the console. Both Xbox logos will pulse briefly, then remain steady when pairing is complete. The Xbox One will walk you through the setup process, which includes choosing a language, connecting to the internet, and setting your location. You can get online via a wired ethernet cable connected directly to your router or modem, or connect wirelessly over your home's Wi-Fi network. To set up a wireless internet connection, add your wireless network from the list of found networks and enter your password. After your location is set, the system may need to install some updates. Once the updates are complete, you'll set your time zone and choose a power setting for your Xbox. The first power option saves energy, but the startup time is longer and system updates may interrupt you when you power on your system. The second power option uses more electricity, but the system powers on quickly and installs updates automatically when not in use. Next, you'll be asked to sign in with an existing Microsoft account or create a new one. If you already have an Xbox Gamer Tag or an Outlook.com, Skype, Windows 8, or Windows Phone account, sign in with that. Otherwise, create an Outlook.com account to sign into your Xbox. You'll use this account to sign into your console and access the Xbox Store where you can download games, apps, and more. You have several options for system sign-in and security. While No Barriers offers the greatest ease of use, Passkey is a safe choice for most users. Next, the system will ask you if you want to use Instant Sign-In for this account. If you're the only user of this Xbox, we recommend choosing Instant Sign-In. After the system assigns you a default gamertag and profile picture, choose a color to personalize your Xbox dashboard. Finally, you'll be asked to upgrade to Gold, Xbox One's monthly online subscription service. Gold offers several benefits, including access to online multiplayer modes in games like Destiny and Rainbow Six Siege. Gold also offers free downloadable games each month for subscribers. However, if you cancel your Gold subscription, you'll lose access to the free games with Gold you've already downloaded. After a short intro video, your Xbox is ready to play and customize. From the Profile Info screen, you can change your profile picture, edit your gamer tag, and create an avatar. When you're done, head over to the Xbox Store to download games and apps, or install a game by inserting a disc in the front of the console. The Eject button is located to the right of the disc slot. Touch it to eject your game. Depending on the power settings you chose earlier, pressing the power button or holding the Xbox button on your controller will either put the system to sleep or power it down completely. You should now be ready to play and run the latest games and apps on your Xbox One. We have lots more tips and tricks for getting the most out of your Xbox One at TechRadar.com. Click the link below to find out more.